Hello, Khan. How are you today? Happy. Are you happy? Happy, good. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. Today we do some speaking and some listening. Okay, let's go to do speaking first. Okay, give me one minute. Test one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Corin, can you tell me what's different from the first picture and the second picture? In the first picture. The bride is white, but in the second picture, the bike is black. Which bag? Oh, the bike. Okay, the bike, yes, okay. In the first picture, there are two puppy, but in the second picture, there are two kitten. Yay, very good. In the first picture, the boy are holding a box of some clock. But in the second picture, the boy are holding the box of plates. Yes. What is that first picture? I think it's food. <clears throat> in the first picture, there are that uh, in the first picture is is. 11 o'clock, but in the second picture, it is 2 o'clock. Very good. In the first picture, there are two ducks. Three ducks. 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 <laughs> ducks. In the first picture, the ghost is next to the River, but in the second picture, in the first picture, the goats are under the trees, but in the second picture, the goats to the river. The goats are next to the goat <clears throat> to the river. In the first picture, the back is. Behind the tree, but in the second picture, the bag is under the table. Yes. In the first picture, but in the second picture, the the plate. In the first picture, the green bag. Then purple bag, but in the second picture, the purple bag are is are in front the, of the oh, is bigger, bigger than it is got then then the green bag. But in the first picture, the boy. The second picture, the boy are. The boy is in the sleeping. first picture is wearing a blue short, but in the second picture the boy are wearing a red short. In the first picture. The table is square. In the first picture, the table is square. But in the second picture, the table are circle. Is only it's if circle. there's more than one. If there's more than one, then we say R. So if it's two, three, four, five, then we say R. Like two ducks are swimming. If it's one duck, we say one duck is swimming. So if it's one, one boy is 
Okay. <coughs> one, one boy is playing the guitar. Okay. The blue tent is the blue tent is is open and there are two tents are open but in the second picture there is a a tent is open. Um, okay, you can just say the blue tent is open, but in the second picture, the blue tent is closed. Yeah. Okay, good, Khan. Very good. Let's look at our information exchange. Okay, let me just make this page smaller. Daisy's new shoes and Lucy's new shoes. Okay, I will ask questions first. Uh, are Lucy's new shoes, okay, now we're talking about shoes, so there's two of them, so we have to say are, are no. Lucy's new shoes cheap or expensive? Lucy's new shoes are, are cheap. Okay, what color are Lucy's new shoes? Okay, can you hear me? Okay, Khan, can you hear me? Okay, sorry, let's say again. What color? Hello, Khan. Hello, Lisa. Okay, I'm sorry, I just wanted to check something. Um, okay. Okay, and let's go and see. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Con? Yes. Okay, let's try again. What color are Lucy's new shoes? Lucy's new shoes are blue. Okay, good. And when did Lucy buy her new shoes? Lucy buy her new shoes. Lucy bought, bought? Bought her new shoes last Friday. Um, do Lucy's friends like her new shoes? Lucy friends. Don't her friends like her friend. don't, don't like her new shoes. Her friend don't like her new shoes. Okay, um where are Lucy's new shoes now? Lucy's new shoes are in her cupboard. Okay. Now you can ask me questions, Con, about Daisy's new shoes. <clears throat> are Daisy's new shoes cheap or expensive? Daisy's new shoes are expensive. What color? What color are Daisy's new shoes? Daisy's new shoes are black. 
When Daisy buy her new shoes. When did Daisy buy her new shoes? Okay, when Daisy. Her... Daisy bought when... her, her new shoes last Saturday. Does friend like her new shoes? Okay, does Daisy's friends like her does new shoes? Daisy's friend like her new shoes? Uh, yes, they do. Where Daisy new shoes now? Daisy's new shoes are under her bed. Okay, let's look at this story. I don't know the story. I've never seen it before. Or have I? Okay. So we've got a farmer who's telling his kids to pick some oranges. So they pick a few and then they get tired. But the clowns are coming from the circus. The clowns help them pick the oranges. They are very happy. And they fill the boxes. The, the clowns say goodbye and the boxes are all full. They go to the circus that night and they see their clown friends at the circus. Okay. Let's write it, Khan. Um, I just want to make it a bit smaller. Picture one. Should we say their father is a farmer? Their farmer, their father is a farmer. And he oh, is and telling he, his kids his kid to to pick to pick our oranges from the trees. Okay, uh, they are not very happy. Let me fix my writing here. There. Their father is a farmer and he's telling his kids to pick oranges from. Okay, let's say the father. The father is a farmer and he is telling his kids to pick oranges from the tree. They are not very happy. Picture two. <coughs> there are a lot of oranges in the trees. Uh, the girl and they are a lot of flowers. Oranges in the trees. Okay, there are a lot of oranges in the tree. They have picked a few but they are they are tired two clowns are going out there walk from the circus tent okay picture three Uh, they stand. The clouds help help them pick the oranges in from the, the tree in the 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 full the two boxes. Okay, that's fine. They fill the. Well, the two boxes. The clowns help them pick the oranges from the tree. They fill the two boxes. Okay. Picture four. <laughs> they say... They say goodbye. To their yeah. new friends. Friends. Who helped? Who helped them pick? Oranges in oh. in Okay, that's fine. The clowns go back. We can go back to the skirt. To the circuit. Circus, okay. 
Picture five. Uh, the farmer and. Uh, go to. Go to the circuit. Uh, that evening. Evening. And they see. They see the clowns. Clown friends. Friend. On the stage. On the stage. Okay. Okay, Khan, you can read for me. First, the father is a farmer and he is telling his kids to pick oranges from the tree. They are not very happy. There are a lot of oranges on the tree. They have picked a few buds. They are tired. Two clouds of work from the circle ten. Uh, and uh, next, the clouds have their pick the orange from the tree. They put the two boxes. They say goodbye to their new friends. Okay, they say goodbye to their new friend. Oranges, the clouds, go back to the circle. The farmer and his, his kids go to the circle that evening and they see their clown friend on the stage. Okay, good. Well done, Con. Okay, I just want to try. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go and do some listening and then we'll come back to that. Okay, here we go. Okay, Harry, Michael, Sarah, Betty, Helen, Pat, David. Excellent photo, Dad. When did you take it? It was at a party when I was still at school. It's a very old picture. Where are you? I can't see you here. I'm taking the photo. But there's my best friend, Michael, with his guitar. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's that person? You can't see his face. The boy with the torch. That's David. What's he looking for? I can't remember. Perhaps he lost something. Good. Two. One of my teachers is here too, Mrs. Cook. She still is a teacher, Dad. Her first name is Sarah, isn't it? Yes, it is. She's taking a photo of the group. Look. She teaches at my school now. Her hair isn't blonde now. It's grey. Very good. Oh, one minute. Baby rum with coconut oil and aloe vera to soothe and relax your baby. Okay, one minute. Three. And who's the girl in the group? You mean the girl in the black tights? I meant the one with curly hair. She's playing the drums. Oh, that's Betty. She still loves playing. Very good, Con. Oh, 
Helen. There's Helen, too. <laughs> I haven't seen her for years. Which one is she? The woman who's saying goodbye. She's already put her coat on. She's thanking the other woman, I think. Yes, she is, I'm sure. Okay, very good. Five. And look, Pat's having a great time. The boy in the jeans? Well, he's having a good time too, but I meant his wife. She's the girl in the red dress. They weren't married then, of course. We were all still at school. They're very good at dancing. They still are. On pet, pet, not Harry. Here, yeah, con, pet in the red dress, pet. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, let's go on to part two. A writing competition. <clears throat> part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Tom, there's something here in the newspaper about a competition. It looks interesting. What kind of competition is it, Mum? You have to write a story and send it to the newspaper. I could do that. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. What do you have to write about? It says the story is called My Secret Wish. That's difficult. No, it isn't. You want to be a famous footballer. My Secret Wish. Must I help you, Con? Oh. Yes, I don't know. Okay. Secret. My secret wish. <clears throat> It will be easy for you to write about that, won't it? I can try. And how long must it be? Does it say? You listen, Carl. Yes. You have to write about 400 words. That's not very much. It's about two pages, isn't it? You usually write about 200 words on a page. About 400 words. Can you just put 400 there for me, Khan? Four hundred. Okay, what what can you win? <clears throat> and if I win, you get a computer. Great.
Yay. Okay. Send the story by the 14th. When do you have to send them the story? You must post it before the 14th of July. Is that enough time? I think so. Before the 14th of July. Uh, that okay. That's June, July. We just take like this. Uh, July. Okay, good. Um, send the story to the newspaper office on which street? I've got three weeks. Where must I send it? It says write your name and address on it, put it in a big envelope, and post it to the newspaper office in Clifton Street. Is that C L I F T E N? No, C L I F T O N. Okay, great. I'll begin now. Clifton. Okay, what street is it, Con? Clifton. C L I F T O N. <clears throat> Cliff, almost C L I F. Clifton. Okay, okay. Let's go to the next. Uh, part three. Which thing must Alex take to each lesson tomorrow? Okay, let's see. Okay, you can see all of them. Oh. Okay, just one minute. No. First, we're going to look at some very old maps, and then at your new ones. They'll be very different. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen, and write a letter in each box. What else will we need in the morning? At ten o'clock, you'll have science. Please bring some salt with you. If you have some at home, we're going to put it on some ice. What happens when we do that? Well, we'll know tomorrow. Okay. Don't bring a lot. Just a little will be enough. Science. Bring some salt. <clears throat> Science brings salt. Can you see corn? Yes. Salt. Salt. It's like um, white. 
that you put on your food. <coughs> Not be salt. Let me go, translate it for you. Okay, salt. Try again. Science, you must bring salt. Here, Con A. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, let's listen to number two. And which lessons do we have after that? It's music after that. Did you know, if you take a comb and put paper over it, it sounds like well, it sounds very strange. Please bring one tomorrow so you can try this in class. Bring a plastic or a metal one. A comb for music. Good, okay. Number three. And what must we bring for the lessons in the afternoon, Mr. White? Well, the first lesson after lunch is art. We're going to look at a video about swans and learn how they swim and fly. Then we're going to paint some, but we're not going to use brushes. If you have any chopsticks at home, please bring those to the class. But Don't art. ask me any more about this yet. Bring chopsticks for art. Okay. <clears throat> what comes next? Geography. In that class, we're going to watch a short film about different forests in the world. If you have trees in your garden, please bring five or six different leaves with you to school. After the film, we'll talk about them. Geography, bring leaves. Okay, very good. And the last one is sports. What do you need to bring? Um, must we bring anything else? Yes, Alex. Your last lesson tomorrow will be sports. You'll all play volleyball at the sports centre. Please bring some money to buy a drink after the game. You don't have to wear shorts there. You can wear your school trousers. Well done. Okay, good job, Khan. Let's look at A, B, or C. After this advert. Now you listen and tick the box. One. How did Katie and her parents get there? Did you go there by train? We couldn't because there was a problem at the station. We had to take a taxi. Oh, they're expensive. Yes, Mom wasn't very happy about that. 
She wanted to go on the bus. Huh? Okay. Two. We had to take a taxi. Okay, good. What time did the family arrive <clears throat> at the theater? What time did the family arrive at the theater? Did you get to the theater late? No, we got there a long time before it started. And what time was that? Well, it took about half an hour, so we got there at a quarter to eight. It didn't start until a quarter past. Oh. We got there at quarter to eight. <clears throat> quarter to eight. Two. Quarter to eight. This one is quarter past eight. Quarter to eight. Okay. Um, okay, let's go. Which was Katie's favorite actor? Three. Which was Katie's favorite actor? Which actor did you like the most? They were all great, but the man who was the pilot was the best, I think. And what about the others? Mom liked his wife best. She was the nurse. Dad's favorite actor was the policeman. Which was the, yay, very good. Okay, where did Katie sit in the theater? Four. Where did Katie sit in the theater? Did you sit between your mom and dad in the theater? I wanted to, but there was a tall man in front, so I didn't sit there. So who did you sit next to? I sat next to mom and another girl. She's in my class at school. Very Five. good. Okay. What did Katie buy at the theater? <clears throat> what did Katie buy at the theater? And did you buy something nice to bring home with you? Yes, there were some excellent CDs. And there was a book about the theater, too. But I didn't buy them. I bought a picture. Why did you buy that? Because it had all the faces of the actors on it. Well, perhaps you can show it to me. I'll go and fetch it. All the faces? A picture. Okay. Okay, Con, I'm going to come back. <clears throat> 